In this next video, we're going to talk about Web 2.0 properties that you can use to actually promote this campaign a little bit more. So what I recommend you do is that you pull up the press release that you wrote in the previous video and that you have in your notepad file. So I recommend that you pull this up. It's highly recommended that you save this file so that you can access it at a later time. So what I do is I go to blogger.com first. If you have a Google account, you'll be able to sign right in. If you do not, just choose create a blog. A Google account could be AdSense, AdWords, or Gmail. Any of those will get you into blogger.com. So I recommend that you just come right over here to blogger.com and just log in with your main website that you're going for. Okay, now that you are now logged into your blogger account, you'll see something that looks like this. You might see several, several blogs in there. So what I recommend you do is that you just choose create a blog. And for your blog title, choose your main keyword phrase. So Oakley. Obviously, you would submit you know, Xbox 360, Nintendo Wii, uh, whatever it is that you are promoting. Then choose check availability. And ideally, you want to have your main keyword phrase in your blogger URL as well. Then just go through their word verification and hit continue. And then the next thing you want to do is choose your blog. I recommend just this first theme is usually pretty good. And then choose start blogging. Now it's going to take you right here to your first post. So this is right where I would actually submit that press release that you already wrote. It's just important that you're getting more exposure out there and more possible backlinks to your website. So what I recommend you do here is you come over here and insert this press release. And just paste that in here. Okay, so I've gone ahead and pasted that press release in there. And now what you want to do is actually make everything clickable. So we're just going to highlight that text, click up here to this little paper clip icon and the world, and just put in your main website there, and find your other link and do the same thing. Because this is where you want to send people right back to your website. I also recommend that you take the main keyword phrase you're trying to rank for, and you actually link up that keyword phrase as well. Okay, now what you're going to do under here is where it says labels, put in your main keyword or your tags. And then just choose publish post. And then you can actually click here on view post to actually take a quick look at it. So there you have it. That all should link right into your website. So you just want to test that out. And it looks like it is. So that seems to be working great. So that, that is working great. So now that that is set up correctly, you could go in and you could actually bookmark this blogger site just to kind of help get a little bit more traffic coming in as well. That would be another strategy to consider. Now another Web 2.0 property that I would leverage is a site called Squidoo. So if you're first time to Squidoo, just you sign up. It's squidoo.com. Very popular Web 2.0 site. And you can just put in your first name, last name, email. Then simply come over here and choose login once your account is set up. So I'm just going to do that login real quick here. Now what you're going to do is go ahead and choose create a lens. This is my test account here. and put what your lens is about which is your main keyword phrase which in this example it's going to be like your product phrase you want to choose I just want to get the word out about that 
choose continue and then set your lens URL so it's best if it has your main keyword phrase in the URL and then as far as topic goes you could choose your topic so I'm gonna choose shopping and that's usually what you would probably choose for these examples now again you could apply this to any kind of product but we're just applying this with the main keyword phrase being product specific phrases going for popular products in amazon.com so go ahead and click on continue best keyword is Oakley gas can sunglasses you could also try additional phrases it's also good if you do that and then just go ahead down here insert their word and then choose build my lens so again very very basic up to this point now what you're gonna see here is an area that says you know basically it's got your title there introduction so this is important click on edit your lens intro title you could leave that blank or you could actually make the title of your press release that's what I would recommend doing so that's what we're gonna do here and that's why it's good to use this press release you obviously don't have to you could create an entire article but why go through the trouble again if you don't have to you know the goal here is to just get the promotion going get some content flowing for this particular niche you're going after and then go on to the next one now if you want to highlight a particular text and make it bold you could actually just highlight it and hit bold and then also alternatively you could actually make the keyword phrase itself that you're trying to go for you want to highlight that and you could actually link that up if you wanted to and all the links will look like a little paper clip right here so just put in your link and then hit OK and then scroll right on down here and say save and then you can come up here to make sure the links are working and you need to add a little bit more so here's actually something where you can actually tie your web 2.0 properties together so that's why I had you set up blogger first come right over here it says new RSS add your blog click on edit and then what I would do is what URL would you like to pull your RSS from is come over to your blogger site scroll all the way down to the bottom of your main site so I'd go to the home page of your blogger page and then scroll all the way to the bottom you'll see something called post Adam subscribe to and it says subscribe to post Adam you can actually take that link and hit properties and then copy that address copy that address that's now an RSS feed and you could actually copy that and actually submit it right in here and then just leave all this you could put you know excerpt 100 characters and then hit save and that's actually going to help you get some more content out there while actually getting it submitted so notice it added more keyword rich content so you could put in like let's say an amazon.com module you don't need to I would just stick with this for right now and that's another great feature is you could actually go to edit here and put in you know choose great products and you could actually let Amazon help pick products but I don't recommend you do that um, just because it might take away from your affiliate commissions so you can actually cancel out of that and if you don't like anything up here just hit cancel and then hit OK Now what I recommend you do next is just take off. You could keep the Flickr photos actually, so I'd just click on edit and then you could actually go here to where it says, you know, let let Flickr pick or you could say let me pick or pick by photo set. I'd just let them pick and then enter your search term. So I'd enter, you know, um, Oakley and then that would pick up Oakley sunglasses. and then tell it to pick up five photos and they could update that daily that'll just kinda help keep it fresh doesn't look like there are any pictures found you could also come over here to YouTube videos and actually put in you know YouTube video so you could find a video related to your product over at YouTube 
which is what I recommend you do. So let's just go over to YouTube.com. And just have you plug in some information. So YouTube. Okay, so there's a video of somebody reviewing it. So you actually just grab the link to it and come right on over here and it will say, let me pick. And then you could choose show full size video. Come right down here and then enter that link in there and hit save. And then that will display the video. And then for guest book, you can just leave that there for new delicious bookmarks you can click on edit and actually choose you know bookmarks by tag if you wanted to or show popular bookmarks and you could just say Oakley sunglasses and hit save and then the last part is you want to go down to the new Google blog search and you want to just hit edit. The reason you want to do all these things, they may seem in insignificant, is because they usually will not let you publish it unless you have something with a significant amount of content. So I would just put in your main keyword phrase, choose blog post, and then go ahead and hit save. Then when you're done with all that, come right up here and click on publish. and now it's going to tell you if it went through so you can just click on view this lens and now you've got another web 2.0 property with your content that's backlinking to your main website again notice it's got good keyword rich backlinks all these are linking right into your main site which will help you get some more traffic and there you have it there's your release there's your RSS to your blogger page and these are all the alternative things that you needed to have it submitted so that's what your page looks like now you could social bookmark this property as well to kinda of help it get more traffic so you can probably start to see how this funnels coming together you've got your press releases you have got your web 2.0 properties you have got your social bookmarking properties and then a final step is you can just go to Google type in free blog there's a whole ton of free blogging sites like blogger.com out there you could actually set up free blogs on link them all to your main website page to actually get more backlinks to that um, but on the next video I'm going to show you how to actually go and set up a video to promote this whole system so we'll go into that next